Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math number 1101. Math 1101. So, um, our uh, Twitter friend, Dylan Berger, made a really neat simulation here. And um, I, I want you to play with it, but I also um, want you to just tell me what you think is going on here. Hmm. Um, well, it just looks like um, maybe these dots are just bouncing around at really high speeds. Okay. And to me it looks like the purple dots are bouncing around the face of this quarter circle. I don't see any outside here. Okay. Um, but I do, I think the green dot is bouncing around the entire square. Alright. Um, and it's going very, very fast. Okay, so his directions are pause the video, then answer the poll in the thread. Alright, so go ahead and pause the video. I think you just click on it. Alright. Alright, so we see one purple dot. Okay, and now let's scroll down to the poll. Oh, shoot, I've already answered it. So it comes up answered already. That's too bad, so I'll zoom in on it. So what does it say? When you pause the video, where is the dot? Um, and... For us, it was inside the circle. Okay. Yes, so it's answered. Um, so right. and so it, how, there's what 17,000 uh, answers yeah. so far. Okay, so 79.5 inside the circle and 20.5 outside the circle. All right. Um, hmm. So why don't we go back up? I have to zoom out just a touch. Um, so if that dot was bouncing around randomly. So we don't really know, yeah. but let's just assume that it has an equal chance to be anywhere inside the square. Okay. Um, what do you think the probability is that it would be inside the circle? Um, well, let's see. If you said that this square had side length one, would it would be pi over four out of one? Pi over four probability, so... Sorry, I just noticed the battery's about to run out, but go ahead and do that calculation since we had a calculator nearby. And so we have pi here. Yep. And we're going to get pi four. We get about 78... Go, go towards the screen. 78.5%. Yep. Okay, 78.5%. And I think it was a, the poll was around that, 79.5%, so pretty good approximation of pi. I guess it's just sort of randomly picking where it stops. Okay. Um, what value, see he does say at, at the beginning, let's see if we can approximate pi. So um, if 79.5 is the percent he's getting, what, what approximation for pi is that going to be? Um, that's that times four, so 79.5%. Yeah, don't worry about it being on okay. screen, just go ahead and do it. Three, er, 318, so 0 0.75, so it'd be 3.18, 3 which is very good. Oh yeah? Okay, good. Yeah, so it's interesting. So with this Twitter poll and his uh, thing, so it looks like he got a pretty good approximation for pi. Yeah. Um, nice. So what do you think about this overall? Do you think this is a good demonstration? Yeah, I, I would. This is actually really interesting. I would have not. I wouldn't have thought to do it this way. But I guess it's kind of a cool way to do it with large, large groups of people. Yeah. I like this. All right. Yeah. Good job, huh?